Christmas is right around the corner, and there are more options for viewing holiday entertainment than ever before. Is there anything worth watching, especially programs that you can still share with a whole family? Joining me now with a few suggestions is president of AIM Higher Entertainment, Monica Fitzgibbons. Monica, thanks for being here. As I mentioned, with the streaming services and broadcast offerings Thank this you, Christmas, Raymond. there are so many things to, to binge watch or watch as a family. I asked our viewers what their favorite Christmas film was. Not surprisingly, It's a Wonderful Life was their favorite, followed by A Christmas Story. All right, what's your favorite? What would you recommend families watch this Christmas? I mean, you can't go wrong with It's a Wonderful Life. The whole culture of it is enduring. Oddly enough, that was a film that really didn't do well when it first came out, right. and now it's the most beloved Christmas tradition. Can't go wrong. Yeah, and and I uh, in our family, I love Scrooge. You know the Albert Finney musical uh, that that you know, for the Eng <laughs> old English movie, hilarious and great. Uh, it recaptures, I think, the the Christmas Carol for a new generation. It's hummable, uh, and of course, Charlie Brown Christmas is a classic in our house as well. Now you are president of Aim Higher Recordings, and you produce two wonderful Christmas specials, both of which are airing this season on EWTN. Tell us about Christmas with the Dominican Sisters of Mary. What will audiences get there? That also, you know, is one that just kind of came out of left field. It's a 30-minute special, and it's really coming into the mother house in Ann Arbor, Michigan, with the sisters, seeing them ice skating, seeing their joy, partaking in a world that they really can't invite people into. So they were generous enough to allow us to create the special. And it's the sights, it's the music, it's, it's very much a cozy family classic. Mm. Now, you, you also did, we, we I went to uh, Boston to uh, cover this story when you were recording the boys' choir of St. Paul's School. Uh, and, and you have Christmas in Harvard Square with the boys of St. Paul's Choir School in Boston. Um, what will people find there? Such beautiful music. I mean, it's, it's Latin classics. Yes, exactly, Raymond. And, you know, as you know, this special also will be airing on EWTN. Mm -hmm. And it's the boys in their school, and it's very much a tradition that came from the Catholic Church and belongs to the Catholic Church and has gone around the world. And it's just nice to see it at its finest in Harvard Square, the famous Cambridge um, St. Paul's mm. Church. Yeah. And the boys and are all there in their school, and they come in and they sing. and. It's beautiful. And, well, and their training is incredible. I mean, they, they spend every day working their voices, uh, blending, and it, it, it's an incredible sound that they make. Now, you and I partnered on a project near and dear to my heart, Christmas mm -hmm. time in New Orleans a few years ago. I hosted the special. It is a love letter to the town I love at Christmas, and it's a fusion of music, tradition, faith, and fun. It featured the NOLA Players, a jazz supergroup that you recorded at the Sanger Theater, putting their spin on Christmas classics. Here's a taste of Christmas time in New Orleans. Christmas in New Orleans like no place on earth. You can taste the season here, feel its rhythm, and experience its joy. The music, the food, the sights, the sounds of New Orleans are never better than at Christmas time. New Orleans at Christmas time uh, is friends and family, but there's another F, food. Oh. So <laughs> that's another reason I keep coming back home. I always uh, talk about New Orleans being the uh, only indigenous urban cuisine left, and a lot of it has to do with commonality of a religion that brought a lot of intermarriages, and so people would share the recipes and share traditions, and it culminates. And so the basis of this culture takes place around that family table. No other city ever in the history of this world has seven distinct nations coming together to create what we call the mixtures, the Creolas, the Creoles of New Orleans. Forget about it, there's nothing like it. That's what makes this city so unique, is we have a blend of people and a blend of food. There is a communal spirit of inclusion all over New Orleans. People are just friendly. While we were conducting our interviews, some yelled greetings from cars. How y'all doing? Hello. How you doing? Others just rolled into frame and started a conversation. 
Others literally stopped the bus in the middle of the street to say hello. I'm proud of you. Thank you. Hang in there. Visitors to the city often experience that same welcome. You're one of the family. You're, you're adopted. The music is so catchy yeah. there, uh, Monica. How did you decide on these arrangements, this approach to the music? Well, you know, Raymond, you've drawn us all into New Orleans, and now we're all, you know, honorary New Orleanians. They should make you the mayor. <laughs> but anyway, it really is a musical Christmas card to the city, but also it, it really is something that people have really enjoyed watching with their whole family. Something the whole family can agree upon that's new, and that's right. unusual, as I you agree. know. No, well, well you, you set out to make a classic album. We set out to create a classic special, and I think we did. Now, there's a new way for folks to catch Christmas time in New Orleans this season. A brand new expanded cut is available. It's never been available before on broadcast. It's now at foxnation.com. You can sign up for a free trial, and you can watch it with your whole family. The code is CELEBRATE. And enjoy a little New Orleans Christmas wherever you are and wherever you are. Christmas time in New Orleans at foxnation.com. You can go there. Well, Merry Christmas, Monica, and thank you for joining us. And, of course, the soundtrack is available as well. Tell people where they can get it. Merry Christmas. Well, you can get the soundtrack to that and the sisters and the boys' choir on demontfortmusic.com and, of course, EWTN and the religious catalog. Monica. And Merry Christmas to you, Raymond, Merry and Christmas. all your viewers. We'll see you soon, and Happy New Year.